God! No! God, please, no! 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 Today, I have something very juicy for you, my little spicy meatball. Elden Ring is no stranger to game-breaking glitches, just as Froom Software is no stranger to having spaghetti code in all of their titles. During the lifespan of Elden Ring, we've come across many disgusting glitches, like the IGN Deathblight glitch, or the Carrion Retaliation glitch. If you've previously watched my video about our friend Cody, the Archer of the Lands Between, you may have noticed that at one point I mentioned something called the Chainsaw Glitch. This is a glitch that consists of using the unique passive ability of a special weapon outside of its intended boss fight. And as you can probably tell, it's completely game-breaking. <laughs> but why is this still in the game? Hasn't From Software done anything to patch this? Let's take a look at the worst glitch Elden Ring has ever spawned. The Chainsaw Glitch. In Volcano Manor, located in Mount Gelmir, there is a boss in Elden Ring known as Rikard, the Lord of Blasphemy, who happens to be my brother, and he takes the form of a colossal serpent. Engaging in a battle with this boss using ordinary weapons will result in instant demise, as not only does Rikard possess an immense health pool, but there is also a vast lava puddle surrounding him that inflicts constant damage. However, the game provides a solution to confront this slimy big boy, the Serpent Hunter. This weapon's unique feature is its expanded, substantial hitbox allowing you to strike Rikard from a distance. Additionally, it inflicts massive damage to match the boss's enormous life bar. Once the battle concludes, the Serpent Hunter will lose this property and revert to a regular weapon with a moveset resembling that of a great spear. On the other hand, there is a weapon known as Geezer's Wheel, which is commonly referred to as the remarkable pizza cutter within the community. Pizza time. This weapon possesses a unique Ash of War called Spinning Wheel. It is classified as a hold type Ash of War, meaning that you must hold down the L2 button to continuously inflict damage until you wish to stop or your stamina or FP is depleted. This particular Ash of War is highly relevant to our discussion because for some godforsaken reason, when you execute a specific sequence of actions with a flail or any weapon equipped with a hold type Ash of War, this freaking garbage happens. The Serpent Hunter regains an extended range from the previous encounter with Rikard, all while consistently dealing damage in a straight ellipsoid shape that covers an astonishingly vast area. Not only is the range of this attack mind-boggling, but the damage it inflicts is also absolute bonkers. It retains its previous damage output featured in the Rikard fight and requires zero FP or stamina to utilize. You can hold down the button for as long as you desire and the attack will persist until you eventually tear your opponent a new one. As you may have guessed by now, this monstrous glitch works for both PV and PvP, rendering PV trivial and PvP unplayable. No one is safe from the bastard child of FromSoft's spaghetti coding. They've tried many times to patch this abomination, and while it used to be way easier to pull off and patches did make it much harder to do, it still exists in the game and can still be executed with relative ease due to a macro circulating online. Fortunately, most of the gamers currently playing the game still have a glimmer of honour and empathy and refrain from using the glitch, while other more socially inept individuals will exploit it if they consider you worthy according to their maniacal standards, like the guy in Cody's video. So, what exactly can you do to battle FromSoft's negligence? Is there any way to counter this thing at all if someone pulls it off? Well, you'd be surprised, Tarnished, but there actually is. So let's get into that. First and foremost, it is crucial to recognize when you are about to be chainsawed. While it may seem challenging to do this, it is actually quite simple. If you observe someone wielding a flail with both hands, that is a dead giveaway because no rational human being would 
ever use a flail in PvP, you can be absolutely certain that they are attempting to chainsaw you if they are backstepping while also blocking with the flail. In such a situation, try to create as much distance as possible between yourself and your opponent. If they manage to execute the chainsaw attack and you are unsure if you're far enough away, start mashing that roll button to no end. If your connection with the opponent is relatively poor, they will struggle to hit you with the chainsaw, or they won't be able to hit you at all while you're rolling. You may experience a number of phantom hits, but no actual damage. Once you have distanced yourself adequately, if they persist in trying to approach you, you have a few good options. One of these options would be to attempt using either a great bow with golem arrows to knock the enemy off balance, or a medium bow with the arrow swap glitch to achieve the same outcome more easily. To perform the arrow swap glitch, simply jump with your medium bow, press the button for your regular arrows, and immediately afterward, press the button for your golem arrow. This will result in shooting a golem arrow with your medium bow. Pretty neat. If you do not possess a bow or golem arrows, there are alternative options available. One such option is utilizing the jar, cannon, or spells with extensive range, like Frenzy Burst. By targeting your opponent and attacking from a secure distance, you can effectively deal damage without getting hit with the chainsaw. Spells with wide area of effect, such as Cannon of Hyema or Giant's Flame Take Thee, can also be effective. Just ensure you aim them high enough to reach your intended target, it is worth noting that the enemy's movement is significantly slowed while wielding a chainsaw, making it difficult for them to evade attacks without first halting their own movement. And lastly, Ranker Pots also seem to get the job done. Perfect, good job, good job. And yes, Tarnished, unfortunately, in enclosed areas, you are indeed going to swallow that chainsaw whole. In situations like these, the best course of action is to take the L, block the individual responsible, and move forward. Becoming angry with someone who exploits this tactic will not benefit you in any way, as that is likely their intention from the start. FromSoft has not yet been able to fully resolve this issue, and it remains uncertain if they ever will. Therefore, we must remain cautious and equipped with the necessary tools to handle it. However, there's no need to worry, Tarnished. It's not a significant problem at the end of the day. Remember that only a small number of people engage in this behavior, and ultimately... It's only game. Why you have to be mad? And if you found this video informative, feel free to leave a like, comment, and share it with friends. Consider subscribing to Only Waifu for more videos like this. Be sure to eat lots of protein, Tarnished. And as always, thanks for watching.